Tonight he gets an opportunity starting in Cameron Munster's 5'8 jersey. He'll do his job. He, he comes in, he competes hard. And you just think with this man, Harry Grant, and what he was capable of doing, what he did do, and what he delivered in round one last week was sheer brilliance. It really was. 84 minutes. And his physical presence around the ruck, his running game is just dynamic. Well, the Grant v Marty battle is one of the positional matchups of the weekend. Matt Burton gets us underway. It is uh, game six of round two, and Jerome Hughes, the hands eye on that kick was, was handy for the Bulldogs. And Melbourne have first possession of the night. And their captain, Christian Welch, second game back from injury. Now, Grant, and, uh, that changed today. Xavier Coates out, Grant Anderson coming into the side on the wing. It's a very different looking Melbourne back line to what you pencil in when everyone's available. Asifa Solomona, you can see young Jacob Preston in that tackle in jumper 17 in the starting side oh, tonight. Him in. Go for oh. Manly Jr. Now infield for Josh King, another one of those players that well, he almost played the full 84 minutes last week. Jerome Hughes kicking from outside the 40. And the back goes the Fox. Once a hero here. Now one of the enemy. 96 tries in his time with a Melbourne Storm. What a record. Premierships to boot as well. Kiraz off the other wing. On the run for the Bulldogs. Just the one try last week against Manly. They were, they were disappointing. We know that. But a chance to reboot tonight and maybe claim a very big scalp. Sutton is down for Canterbury with the trainer. And he's in real strife, Ryan Sutton. Uh, a bit th uh, thin in the uh, front row stocks, Canterbury. No Pengai, no uh, Luke Thompson. Canterbury into the Melbourne half for the first time tonight. It's a perfect time. The bomb, not quite the floating bomb, will still be a tester. And Anderson. He's gone too far. Meany goes back for it. Anderson giving the referee a little bit of help. It's gone back. The referee says, yes, I know. Went back by some 10 metres. Let's go down to the sideline for the first time tonight. Jake Duke soaking up the atmosphere. How good was Thunderstruck on the guitar before kickoff? So good, Vossi. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, everyone at home. Perfect conditions here in the Victorian capital. A nice 20 degrees, no wind around at all, and a big Melbourne crowd in the house. About 17,000 fans who will make it a tough road trip for the Dogs, who have not won here since 2016, if you can believe that. But this is a new-look dog side up against a Melbourne Storm side facing a little bit of an injury crisis at the moment. No Munster, no Xavier Coates, and the big outs from last week. It's an amazing run, isn't it? Melbourne have won seven straight against Canterbury. Previous to that run of seven straight, the Bulldogs won six straight. It's all turned around. Hughes with a bomb from 40 metres out. Oh boy, this is towering. And, and O'Carr again, the booze of the crowd. The Foxes with it. And able to beat one on his way back. Smith was looking for possibly ball strip there. Oh, Matt Alamotti invest his uh, second match. Perham at fullback. There's some inexperience in this Canterbury side as well. wholehearted Kiraz. I mean, he's quickly yeah. become a favourite of the Canterbury fans. He, he works, he runs like his life depends on every run. He earns a penalty there. Yeah, that'll help. It's been a... It's been a good start from both sides. Pretty conservative, just getting through their sets and... A really strong run at the back end of that set for Canterbury from Kiraz and gets a penalty. Matt Burton drives it down from Canterbury with the first attacking opportunity here. Looking for Burton and Flanagan to combine. It would certainly be a, a massive boost for Canterbury if they could make the running of this game just to, to really get on the front foot, foot early here as Marty right side Burton, Preston with it. And a oh, driven shot from Wisher. Oh, That's a beauty. Getting right up under the ribs there. Now Flanagan, a set restart, ball across with Sutton. He's made a recovery. Big Nelson. Money and King Flanagan sharp work Preston again Wishart that time low tackle was great Flanagan with it 
Wells comes up with a big tackle. Set restart. Barney goes to Burton. Burton with the ball. That's of a Solomona there. And uh, Katoa in defence. What a test of Melbourne early. King, Flanagan, Preston running outside in. Wisher takes another classic tackle. Three out of the textbook in the space of a couple of minutes. Terrible pass. What happened there? We'll need the expertise of Michael Ennis to break that one down. Yeah, really good work from the Melbourne Storm, defending almost three full sets. It was a penalty that Karaz got on play four, and then the set restart late in the tackle count, and the Melbourne wall just unable to break down. Breakdown of execution, and a poor pass from Reed Marnie. Cheap turnover from the Dogs. They'll be disappointed with that. So back up the Storm, Remus Smith. Super Saturday here on Fox League. And thank you for your viewership this weekend. It's been wonderful across the games played so far this weekend. Nice meters made there with Katoa, the former Warrior. That Grant kicking right away tomorrow night. We get to see the Dragons for the first time in the NRL this season. Coming off the bye, exclusive to Fox League tomorrow night. And before that, another trip to Leichhardt Oval. With the uh, oh, Tigers yeah, back against the Knights. King comes up strong. Everybody knows he's in first grade. Well, all week, you know, externally, the, the, the noise of the, the players that are out for the Melbourne Storm, the inexperience that's coming there, the Bulldogs and how they'll rally after their poor performance at Brookvale in round one. Marnie, another error. And the Melbourne Storm side here, well, it is next man up. They are responding. They've been physical, they've been brutal, and they are frustrating Canterbury early here. And it's been led by their leaders. That time it was King out of the line. That was uh, on the vicious kind. And then they're all like over Marty. They go, in, they go in for a feed, don't they? Like hungry lions there, the Storm players. But it, it just happens so often. Whenever the Melbourne Storm lose players at the end of a season or they go through an injury toll like this, you just the noise starts to heal. They're just not going to be that Melbourne side that we expect. And they just have that next man up mentality where they just get the job done. Nelson Asa for Solomon, two men off the scrum. That's the way they come. Who'd want to stand in front of him? Barney does. The big mitts of Asafa Solomon are able to pull that one back in. So Melbourne get their first chance of the night. Seven minutes in. The arrow with the ball. Six more. Another set restart inside the ten. Grant to Welsh. How good can Canterbury be defending? We're coming left here, Melbourne. Grant there. Now Hughes. Wishart. Caught just by Preston, his support player. And the arrow was taken out. Good offload. Grant with it. Melbourne chance. It sits up. That bounce. Favoured Canterbury. Alamotti to it. Yes, it's a low dropout. But if that ball had to stay low, Melbourne would have been a greater chance. Boy, he's good, Harry Grant. The, the minute he gets any ruck speed, he's out of dummy half. His support players pushing into space for him. Lovely offload it was from King. And he just... It's a repeat set. Short drop out. It's gone the distance from Burton. And Canterbury come up with it. Anderson on to Karaz. And I don't mean deliberately. And more running meters for the Lebanese International. Burton kick out. Canterbury. This is a wonderful start of the match. Free flowing football here in Melbourne. Now Piram. Tyler Mariner. Things settle down for a moment. And just like that, Canterbury, 30 metres away from the Melbourne line. Sutton, able to bounce away from a couple of the big fellas. Preston, overhead ball, Kiraz on the bounce. He'll go running again. And finish off in the tackle of Welshare. 15 from the line, Canterbury. Marty, better service this time. Flanagan, and then for Max King. Former Melbourne player, Marty with it, Preston, Preston, in only his second match, Jacob Preston has Ash. plunged over, has he been able to force it, try. he's it's got a smile on his face, is he a fibber? Or has he got his first four-pointer? Well, it was Josh King down the other end for the Melbourne Storm that got the offload for Harry Grant. This time, Max King gets the offload for the Bulldogs, and it's Reid Marnie. Beautiful pass selection. Does he get it down? The ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, 
sure he got that down as he slid over at the start. He was confident. You're not so sure, Andrew. Well, first of all, it's been set up no the try. bottom of the ball here. He's yes, on the line. It's yeah, a drop. That, as a ball crosses the line and makes contact with the goal line, we yeah. have a decision. You're too good, Michael. You Preston, what a story. You've got a future in the bunker. Yeah, <laughs> a manly junior. Yeah. We said last week, of all places to make your debut last week, <laughs> it was Four Pines Park across the road from where he went to high school. And here he is looking good in blue and white. Well, he's very confident. Just watch the pass selection here of Reed Marnie. It was beautiful work. Burton landed the short dropout perfectly. Anderson unable to hang on to it. Carraz has been dangerous, very dangerous in the opening 10 minutes. And here it is here. They find King coming back Just through the middle. Again, beautiful late offload attack. Yeah. Attracts so one, three Melbourne again, defenders. Watch Marnie there. Just looks up, scans, sees Preston one on one there with Wishart. Just on his outside shoulder. And he did well to get the ball down. Got it to ground. Just in time. And the Bulldogs find first points. He's a happy boy. Look at him. Yeah. What he a moment. Want that smile off his face for a while. What a moment. He was very good. And it's a bit of a marker, wasn't he, for new coach Cameron Serraldo. You perform in the trials, and I care about reputations. You could get a start. Yeah. And, and that was proven true with Preston. He was very good in the preseason challenge. You saw it on Fox League. That was how good it was. Getting to see these new faces in the preseason challenge. And now they're in the first grade. Now he's a first grade try score. Over to Burton for 6 0. Canterbury leading Melbourne in what's been a very entertaining start to the match. Jake Duke on the sideline. How good is it to see Jacob Preston get over for his first try? Made his debut last week off the bench, got 51 minutes game time, but he starts here tonight. And he scored a few tries in the New South Wales Cup last year. In fact, he got seven tries in 12 games playing for the Bears. So he can find the line. He, he's uh, signed his first top 30 deal with the Dogs this year. So a good reward for hard work, as you said, Bossy. And a great work there by Reid Marnie after a couple of early errors to get back into this game. Sets up the Dogs' first try. There you go, Preston. Two games in. Poor old Alex Twala. So in. We get to see Alex again tomorrow. <laughs> He's another one. He's sitting at home. He just put us on mute. This Sunday, tomorrow, live and exclusive on main event. Tim Zhu is long awaited world title fight against Tony Harrison. Biggest fight in Australia since Jeff Finney. And Azuma Nelson tomorrow. You can order now at main event.com.au. What a day. What a day of sport. Cricket in the mix as well. Now for Tala Mariner, supercars, take your pick. And we have the best seats in the house at the Rugby League. So Marnie, a dummy half. Canterbury already matching their try tally of last week. Sutton straight charge. Now for Burton to kick on the run. That's a great set, Canterbury after points. Burton's kick from inside kick. the 40. Manny right in the corner. Blue and white jerseys everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great response from the Bulldogs. Had plenty of possession early, came up with some poor options, then had to absorb some pressure from the Melbourne Storm on their line. They go 100 metres and score a try with Preston, and a great set after points. Remus Smith trying to find a way through the tackle of Sutton and Faitala Mariner. 45th time these clubs have met. Storm have won 23, Bulldogs have won 21. Can we get a huge win in the finals match down here over... Melbourne, Tim Laffite was the star that day. Great day. Bellamy talks about it as being one of the most disappointing losses of his uh, of his time. Melbourne back with uh, Hughes to kick from five minutes inside his own half. It is high and it is long. Perham is with the ball. And back comes Hayes Perham to the 20 metre line. And straight away Karaz is into the action. Just going back to that final, Andrew, just shout out to the great Des has it. It was one of the most precise game plans that he provided uh, in his time at Canada when he went down for that final against Melbourne. Quite incredible. Canada have worked hard to get back to halfway. I'm sure in their, their playbook. Game plan this week, no one was inside our own half. They've already made one tonight. Let's keep it at that. And here he goes. The Fox, what about him stepping? Stepping and running and looking up. He's beaten five in one run. Heard him. He had time for the floater. He's got this one up. 
Many is there, it's been knocked down, it's play on Canterbury, kick out. And Villiami loses the ball, short of the line. No advantage. He's going to fall on deaf ears. He's yeah, up on from Mino first. No Another set for the Bulldogs. In really good field position, these towering bombs. They're landing them perfectly where Nick Meany has to come towards the collision. And unable to get a clean catch. Plenty of Bulldogs there competing for it. It's been an energetic start. Very energetic start from the Dogs. By the way, just for the record, Craig Bellamy's biggest loss as a coach was against Canterbury round 22, 2003. Mm. Almost 20 years ago, they lost 50 points to four, but there's just a stat. A rare one in the time of uh, Craig Bellamy. Great chance Canterbury here at 6-0. Oh, points here will put some pressure on Melbourne. Marty, wide ball from the scrum for Alamotti. One on one, he's offloaded, and a car on the knees. Nowhere for Josh to go there. Cross with uh, Flanagan. Marty King. From Canterbury bring Kikau in early on that left edge. Here he is, Marty. That's the way they're going. Burton, Kikau. Able to pass on the knees. Burton is with it again. And he's signaling Alamotti to go back inside, the 19-year-old. And a car. Perham. Now Marty, set on the right for Tyler Mariner. Flanagan tipped it on. Preston did well. Not a good pass. It uh, was thrown sideways and then bounced forward. The first part of it was OK, and Melbourne come up with the ball. Yeah, Melbourne very, very good systematically when you try and go sideways and go around them. Uh, they need to learn their lessons from the Preston try going through them. That's where they need to go, through the Melbourne storm. Nice and direct short passes on edges. Melbourne coming out of trouble. And, uh, Tottenham Apia there, one of their try scorers from last week. He takes on an experienced role here. Return of the game last season for Tyler Mariner Pink there for Canterbury. Great effort from young Tyler Mapia there, just in carrying hard, getting underneath the tackle of Tyler Mariner, squirming and getting his way underneath. Fighting for the play the ball when he saw it much needed penalty. Well, it's certainly been lively, hasn't it? This there's been nothing about not having a, a quite a crack to start this game. Now Melbourne, it's advantage them now. A set starts inside Canterbury's half. It's on a Mapia. Just off in the tackle of Avarillo there. Grant set of hill for King. Try he scored as a Melbourne player was last year against the Bulldogs. Wishart, and it comes for Liero. And one on one, Flanagan. It's just been absolutely reefed away. That's great work from the Canterbury halfback. Canterbury come away from their 20 with uh, Pyram up in the line. Flanagan, Sutton. Been good, Sutton. Really strong through the middle early. Four years of his time at the Canberra Raiders. Now, Marty will kick from inside the 40. He's got the distance, but Anderson read it well. Back he comes. Half a dozen games in the top grade last year for Anderson. The box, Cameron Munster's finger well, truly wrapped up. Warbrick. Unit, this young winger. Good to see him in the middle of the field there. Welsh on the run. One of the better offloaders in the Melbourne side. Quick play the ball for Grant. Pass of a Solomona. There's another one of their offloaders. Canterbury do well. King and Money there. Grant on to Welsh. This is good build up. Shoes. Straight runner was Katoa. Took a good tackle from kick out. Melbourne fans wanted penalty or set restart. Grant, not sure what happened there. It was a touch by Burton. Katoa to Hughes. Hughes kicks, no restart. Off the tackle count. Perham has to put the skates on. He's taken it dead. Came off his chest. Yeah, Grant just starting to explore out of dummy half. 
That Tom on the last tackle, he was hoping for a set restart, ran himself into a dead end, but it was great work from Hughes. Recognised that Perham had come forward, just dabbed it in behind him, competed hard. And Hayes Perham did everything he could, but in the end, just had to shield the ball over the dead ball line. Here comes the short dropout. Well, they got a result first time around. Why not reload? Matt Burton. No, he goes down the middle. It's the in-between kick. Wishard fields it. Ooh, he clipped a little high there. From uh, Sutton. All OK, says the referee. Melbourne with the ball, Christian Welsh. He's crossed. I think everyone in rugby league wants to see Christian have an injury-free season. Queensland would like to see that. Wishard, flat ball on that left edge for Liero. Now just 10 metres from the line. Asper Solomon running it flat again. They're all hopping on for a ride there. <laughs> Big Nelson, he's taken 450k across the line. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him just all launch on. Perham gets on too. Yep. Yeah. Man, Mountain. Huge, isn't it? Brent, you need it's to hold it to ten out. It's ridiculous. That's it. Grant. And run around with King Hughes. Hughes has gone through. And he just gets him. Perham finishes off and could be off to the sim bit. Held him down. That's two now. Really smart yeah. play here from two. Melbourne. You just saw Harry Grant go on that run around. So no Cameron Munster. Well, so. And so they're going to use Grant as that more Wait predominant up. ball player to link up with Hughes. Oh, really yeah. smart coaching. Hey, God, let's go, Harry. Go. 19 and a half minutes into the contest. Melbourne yet hey, to post points, but they might be too far off. Grant. And Nelson, another run. Put the puppy bar up there on for Tyler Mariner. A low work from Sutton. Grant again. Wishart. Step. Twice off the left, almost crawling his way through the defence. Grant, look out. Then Hughes, a fend on Burton, and then totally submits in the tackle. That's four for Melbourne. Grant, a kick. Oh, gee, what a move there. He's got a concrete beat on. That is just, uh, that was gone dead for the moment it touched the boot. Yeah, that was disappointing from Grant. Slow play the ball, and he just came out and just way too much on it. Yeah, landed on the full in the end goal. He's never going to sit up. And again, they're just absorbing them, aren't they? Canterbury at the moment. Every time Melbourne have been on their line, they've been able to force cheap turnovers off. Flanagan, a loose pass there for Preston. Yeah, there's been some untidy play. That, well, mm. Canterbury, it's, it's, it's heartening, it's encouraging, but there's also been this... Untidy play that you, know, you do that close to your line, you'll end up uh, having try conceded. Kiraz was, uh, was like a judo throw that took him down. He was still able to get the ball away. We've got field position Canterbury to Bill Marnie, off and running. Then for Preston. What a showdown this is. Big Marnie Grant. v. Grant. Yeah. Now Marnie left. King, Sutton, Burton. On the kick out, kept going out of body to a car. The kick from the Fox, Perham. Oh boy, Grant comes up. Brilliant. What a run back from Grant. Brilliant. Perham had him covered for sure. Gee, what about the shot too on Ryan Sutton from the inside? Real rib tickler. There's some feeling in this one. Remus Smith trying to find some metres now off his goal line. Well, that's going to be a, a, a hard to beat for player of the match, what Grant just did, really. Not just yeah. the save, to get back to the field of play. Good tackle. Great tackle. Alec McDonald on that run. Cut in half by Sutton. And a penalty comes out of that. The quick play the ball. There's no advantage there for the man who went low. Yeah, it was a great tackle. Like, it's a superb one. This is where the game is wrong, the way we've evolved that a man who comes up with a classic low one-on-one -on -one tackle Christian. gets no advantage at all. I remember Wayne Bennett talking to me about this, oh, I reckon it was a decade ago, when he spoke about the tackle technique of guys like Greg Eastwood and Neville Costigan, and he said that there's just no reward for, for their brilliant low tackles. That was a great tackle. 
Well, in position. This is going to end at the moment. Oh, yeah. He's attacking set after attacking set here. Grant for McDonald. Just his 14th game for first grade. And yet, uh, that is well in advance of any other player on the pitch tonight. Oh, it's really armed right in the ribs there. Christian Welch. Now, Grant again. 20 minutes out. Hughes inside for King. And again, a beautiful tackle in there from Sutton. Superb work. Now, Hughes. And uh, there's Wishart on for Nick Meaney. Taken sideways by Flanagan. They get right up in uh, under the nose of the sideline official. Last tackle. And young John Rapia does nothing more than run from dummy half. Front foot here. Yeah, it's right, poor awareness, Christian wasn't it? From Tom Alec Rapia. Wife. That won't please Craig Bellamy. Hasn't walked anywhere yet, though, with Craig, through... Uh, 23 and a half minutes. I think we're all just, <laughs> yeah. just it's gripping what's just, happening, the match. Just trying to take it in. It's been end to end. It's been fast. So much happening. Here's Waddell. He's onto the field now for Canterbury. Good leg drive. Steals another six metres after collision. 50% share of possession as well has helped the contest. No side dominating the other in, uh, in that regard. Canterbury. Oh, Perrin. Perrin with speed and swerve and a goose step as well. Dare I say he's left Purple Haze there the way he ran downfield. Perrin out for Preston. A step around Wishart. Preston's pass on the bounce to Kiraz. Averillo was taken out. Young Tom Rapier might go to the bin here. Young. It's an attacking Young. raid Young. and a player's taken out without the ball. And there it is. Young Tonomapia off for 10. Here come the doggies. Yeah, a couple of silly moments there from Tonomapia running the ball on the last when he needed to find his halves. And this time it was great work from Perham. There it is, latching on to Avarillo, taking him out of the play. Had to be a sin bin. Ooh, yeah, well. they. Uh, Christian Welsh slow to come out of the tackle. Perham found him. And went straight through the dogs now. Here we go. Again, inside the Melbourne 20 metres zone. So Tottenham appear off until five short of half time. Canterbury with King. Their attack, whatever they've worked on in the offseason, has to come to the fore right now to get a big advantage in this match. Flanning it across. Misses out kick out. Perrin to Alamotti. Alamotti on the run. This kid has enormous wraps on him. Good tackle, Warbrick. And Okar there. Back for Perham, on for Marnie. Canterbury will get it to middle ground. Waddell to King. King offload back for Waddell. And there's some daring about this Canterbury attack now. Burton tapped on. Kiraz for the corner. Comes away from the sideline and able to offload. Flanagan covered up. Welch was there, the Melbourne captain. Marnie with it. The Burton. Kick, it's there between the posts. And Meany just helps it go to the dead ball line. Yeah, really good work from that man there, Matt Burton, playing both sides of the field tonight. He was just locked in on that left-hand side last week at Brookvale. Just waiting for his moments to come tonight. Cameron Serraldo giving him the freedom to roam. He's on both sides of the field threatening. And all of a sudden, the Bulldogs attack looks lively. I'm enjoying this. I think you watching at home at the moment. This is uh, high on action. Canterbury and Melbourne. Super Saturday. Fox League. King. Back into a tackle of Alec McDonald. Melbourne down to 12 men. You would think they'd have to come to this right-hand side of the field to go back to kick out, wouldn't you? Trying to isolate him with some big spaces now with just 12 in the line. Marty off to play the ball from Waddell. Perham for Preston. And uh, Preston is only 10 away from the Melbourne line. 13 remaining first half. Marty short side. Perham switch of play. Flanagan. Then across with Burton. They don't get it right, Canterbury there. Not sure about the short side part of all of that. Back forward, Dell. He's been busy. Right in front of the Melbourne sticks. Marty on the last tackle. 
And Flanagan, they're going to run it. Kiraz will have a, a dive for the corner. He gets there easily. Well, Jacob Kiraz, I was expecting the Starman dive like the Fox <laughs> take piece. But I think he's cruised in uh, in the courier truck. He didn't have to get airport. He's been very good. Jacob Carraz, and this time Kyle Flanagan, smart play, really smart from Flanagan, going back to the space where Tonamapuya has just left the field with the sin bin, and Anderson just caught infield ball watching, and Carraz proving himself quite the finisher, had a wonderful World Cup, and he's come back this season 2023 with great confidence, does he stay in? Yes, he does, he does it easy. He was, but he was able to run the ball to the corner rather than launch the, the dive from five metres out. You're right about the World Cup. I mean, he played fullback for Lebanon and uh, and got the thrill of playing against Australia. Like, that was yeah. Kiraz, number one against the... What's that bloke's name for Australia? The, the captain, Tedesco. Tedesco. <laughs> that was quite a thrill <laughs> to be playing a quarter-final at the World Cup. Find yourself a positional match-up with one of the best ever. And uh, Kiraz handled it. He was really, really good at the World Cup. Yeah, he, he's hard not to love the Canterbury... Supporter base absolutely love him. It's wholehearted every single week. He loves the club and he's proud. Every single week he goes out there and gives his best, competes hard. He's carried the ball strongly. He's up towards 100 metres already in the opening half an hour of this game and proving himself a very, very handy finisher. What about this scoreline, eh? 10-0 Canterbury. The biggest losers of week one are now leading Melbourne, 10 block in Melbourne. This is a big kick, really big kick. I don't think 10 points wins it tonight. No. But you've got another, what, another six minutes against uh, 12 men. Mm. Canterbury can <laughs> manufacture another one. There's a lot of work to do for the Storm. Burton on the sideline. Here we go, left foot. <laughs> He's in a seagull. <laughs> he gets a fluffy toy, but nothing else. Uh, it is 10 points to nil, Jake on the sideline. Jacob Carraz, one of the real finds for the Bulldogs last year in what was a tough season. A strong ball carrier, a good finisher, gets a good reward there. And you mentioned the dogs' ball movement. We've seen that a lot to start this game. And that man there, Cameron, Cameron Seraldo, spoke this week about how they would come down here and they would not die wondering. He said it a few times, repeated it in his press conference, that that would be their game plan. They are certainly doing that here to start this game. And don't forget... Super Saturday now, but we've got the Sunday ticket tomorrow, guys. The Tigers and Knights up first, live from 3 p.m. from the eighth wonder of the world at Leichhardt Oval. And then we get to see the Dragons in action for the first time. They are hosting the Titans. Great double on uh, Fox League tomorrow. Abby Corris out of start for the Tigers. A bit like that in tomorrow against the Knights. Gordon calling that one. Canterbury doing well here. Ten points to nil over the Melbourne Storm. Was lost there by Brown, went up his back. Now we'll deal with it. Interesting, they've uh, named Jaden Ockenbohr on the bench tonight. Cannon brought him in. Not quite sure where he gets a start, how many minutes he'll play as Marty gets them going down the right side. Avarillo, nice tackle again from Wisher. Marty back for Flanagan. Burton with time. Oh, yeah, here we go. Matt Burton puts it up. No one's going to get that on the full. It bounces in friendly fashion for Meany. But uh, no one went even within 10 metres of where that ball went. He tried to absolutely launch that, didn't he? Left the ground. Full extension of that left leg. Here's Anderson now carrying hard. Well, the dogs are full of running here. Plenty of energy on the back of that try to Karaz. Melbourne's struggling. Arrow on that run. That Melbourne haven't had chances in the game and, and have done some bright things, but 10 mils are concerned. That kick from inside the 40 with kick out coming at him. Tough take for Carr. This could be. Oh, wow, that's unlucky not to bounce on sideways there. Can we get a little lucky? There's a great kick from Jerome Hughes. Melbourne with the chance now to return serve. Go after the Bulldogs here. Good carry from young Alamotti. Bouncing, twisting, getting out of the tackles. Beating plenty of Melbourne defenders. And here's a second game in first grade. Looking good 
Offload and they're away again, Canterbury. It was Kiraz who got them away. Flanagan and Murillo with support. Flanagan with the ball close to the sideline. Kept it alive. Almost passed it to himself and Melbourne have come up with it. If only Kyle had run left when he first got it rather than right. He ran himself into trouble. Boy, boy that was a good tackle. Great skill, Kiraz. What a half he's had. Found Avarillo. Boy, wasn't he quick down that... Narrow sideline, Flanagan there. Look at Meany. Really good strength just to take him towards the sideline. And in the end, just pretty easy turnover. Nine, uh, five for line breaks from the Bulldogs already. He's an amazing number. Five line breaks, eight offloads. So five zip the line break count. Eight one the offload count. And the missed tackle oh, count, by the way, 25 8. Melbourne with a chip over the top. Perham's onto it. He's gone through the front line, Perham. Here he goes again. Hayes. He's beaten four. Lobs it over the top. Avarillo with the ball this time. The bright and breezy play continues in Melbourne. Boy, they are playing with some freedom, the Bulldogs. Look at this. Now, Burden to centre field for Waddell. That was almost anticlimactic. Waddell getting the ball with a two-step carry and the Canterbury fans would just want them to let the ball sing Down right up to the line and Pele now out there Franklin after 10 minutes last week Marnie across field freedom to run Preston with the ball Avarillo Carras coming back in field around the corner Preston offload Perham Flanagan Canterbury keeping it alive Burton's with it it's like they're getting paid ten dollars a pass they're just keeping the ball alive, Canterbury. Now Marnie for Flanagan. Show of the ball. Here's Viliami. Spoons it up. Alamotti. The Fox is away and will get there as well. Canterbury are turning on a show. The Bulldogs look like the best attacking side of the competition. They've gone from the outhouse to the penthouse in attack in the space of a week. This is a side that's been so predictable over the last couple of seasons. The Bulldogs, where they've laid certain points of the field for block plays. Tonight, it's been anything but that. It has been hot potato stuff. Ball getting moved around everywhere, offloading at will, going coast to coast. And catch and pass there from Viliami. Kick out Alamotti. They found out Okar, who just flew down that far touch line, launched himself into the air. One of the great finishers, the former Melbourne Storm superstar, Josh Adokar, and the Bulldogs. Well, it's all the Bulldogs. But that was that was just, we, we often use the expression razzle-dazzle. It was razzle plus dazzle plus razzle plus dazzle plus razzle <laughs> to score on the other side. I mean, how many passes have they thrown in that set to it, keep the ball alive? It is caught Melbourne off guard. They... Uh, throwing an unorthodox attacking system at them at the moment where it is all offloading and short pass and ball movement <laughs> in this license to thrill but seven <laughs> oh, that, that stat if you had told me uh, look i oh, know bulldogs seven line breaks zip through 35 minutes yes they were up against 12 men for 10 of it but seven nil line break count yeah well, that's unheard of how good's jacob carrasco what, what a first half he's had Canterbury fans, if you know Canterbury fans who aren't at home watching, ring them up, tell them, get there somewhere, <laughs> watching Fox League, get to a pub, wherever. Watch this, this could be something special. Melbourne with a big challenge now, oh, yeah. Burden with a kick from the sideline for 16 0. Melbourne with it all to do, Jake on the sideline. Young Tottenham appear back on the field, that'll help the Storm guys, but how often do you see a Melbourne Storm side miss 29 tackles in the first 35 minutes of the game? Granted, they had a guy in the bin, but that is very un-Melbourne-like, and won't Josh Adokar love that try against his former club? He's had some tough outings against the Storm since joining the Bulldogs. They've outscored the Bulldogs by 109 points in the past three games, so the Fox will love finally getting one back on his former team. Well, if it goes with his Melbourne form against the Bulldogs, he'll get a double tonight. He scored three doubles in his time at Melbourne against the ball. Oh, look, Here comes Franklin Pillay. They all want a touch. 
scoring might be finished in this first half. Melbourne desperately needs some possession here. It is back Go all the way back 13. to when, when Harry Grant kicked that ball dead. Uh, they were really starting to build some possession on the Bulldogs line and Grant had been tremendous to start the game in the opening 20 minutes but he just absolutely flogged that ball and it went dead by a long way and since then they haven't hardly had the football. Marty. There's Brown coming on as a middle forward for Amanu Brown. Amani with it, back to Burton. Great deal of kick pressure on him. Burton's kick to the corner of Warbrick. He's put it down, he's knocked it back though. Meany is with it. It's a couple of times they've had knocked back the two wingers, Anderson and Warbrick. Testing them out again. They've got away with a couple of drops so far. Melbourne with it. Championship qualities of this club will be oh. tested now. Gee, I thought he had that right arm free there. Anderson was pushing. Another sharp. For the arrow. This has just been a recovery mission this set for Melbourne after it felt like five or six minutes of all Canterbury. High ball for Addo Carterfield. Canterbury, why go into your shell? Three and a half minutes from half time. Why not throw the 20 meter pass to the fullback? Now Flanagan, Kiraz. Just having a, uh, a night out, the 21 year old. So 11 hit ups and 112 meters. I could have done without that Canterbury. And everything is rosy. Yeah, it's another error for Reed Marnie out of dummy half. He's had some he's had some moments in this first half, both good and bad. He was trying to catch the mark of the arrow, not square. And the ball just comes spilling out. And that's it takes a bit of wind out of the sails. A real chance now with just two and a half minutes to go. Points here for Melbourne, might just lift their spirits heading into the break. Half time here, we'll hear from Wayne Bennett what he had to say after another amazing day for the Dolphins at KO Stadium. So that's coming up in the half time show. He's got some making up to do this man, two tries while he was off the field for the sin binning that was just some unnecessary play against uh, Jake Avarillo to start the comeback. Come up with points in this set. Melbourne Storm King, bulldozing run. He's had a good first half. Grant there, had a little look. Left side, the arrow. Tommy Papilla got in front of the ball there. Canterbury makes the tackle, that's play for done. Grant. Cross with Wishart. Wider for Hughes. Misses Benny, look out. Ooh. And O'Carr was coming through. <laughs> Oh, you can see it happen. Warwick. Warwick has come out the other side. The unit. And tackled. Last play, Melbourne. Quick play the ball. Oh, Hughes has put it down. Burton's done the same. So it's kick out just for good measure. So they squander a last tackle play, the storm. Right you guys. Right foot. Right foot, you guys. Yeah, Green out of dummy half, and you can just see Jerome Hughes just yeah, yeah. took his eyes off the ball for a split second there. He's disappointed. They just haven't got their intercepts right, have they, Melbourne, at times? Five errors for the Bulldogs and three for Melbourne now. 16 nil by our count. It's 30 missed tackle. Melbourne, first half. He is a beast, isn't he? That's right. So we've got the unit on the wing. We've got the beast in the front row for Canterbury. And we've got Kiraz, who's just the uh, energizer, energizer bunny out on the right wing for Canterbury. Well, William Warbrick gets, you almost want to do it in a Scottish accent, don't you? <laughs> well, no, actually. <laughs> you can, Michael, and that's where your head's at. Where your head's at. Uh, I'm with me, Andrew. Now, Marty. Burton. Left foot kick. Right man to chase it. And a current set up. It's back to kick out with play on. Philly Army's got another one. I think it's all green light for Canterbury. Billy Army kick out. Canterbury four tries first half. Canterbury to lead 22 nil. My goodness. What a night for the Bulldogs through the first 40 minutes. Well, it shows the quality and the class of Burton, who was ordinary last week by his standards at Brookvale. 
great vision and execution. Addo Carr playing centre so he can chase that short kick and just put it in an awkward spot for the Melbourne defenders and Nick Meaney in particular. Sat up perfectly. They're going to check this. Well, that'll just temper things a little. Just please review a possible knock on. And they might, they might just take it off them here. Like, look, I don't look. And obviously, it would help Melbourne. Clear to aspects not have of play leading up to them, this. Looking at the left hand of Josh Adokar, makes yeah, contact with the ball it. first there it is. Yeah. and knocks the ball towards his opponent's dead ball line. Good call. He's up and about Adokar. Yeah, yeah, and it he touches the ground. It, it's great that for Melbourne we have a decision. not to concede another six. But Canterbury, mm. I think, just as buoyed by the fact that they could throw a trick shot like that at Melbourne. And almost pull it off. I mean, you just look at Billy Army here. He, he is rallying the troops. They are up and about Canterbury. Yeah. They're right in the mood for this. It's no try, but a, a, a buoyant Canterbury. It's uh, like three tries and an asterisk for the first Great. half. Great. That is that is quite stunning here on Fox League Super Saturday. Look at the Canterbury players. Look at Billy Army. Three tries in the first half. Square starters, then he he's like almost hit hit me, yeah. which is maybe drop it, and he was offside. We yeah, that's why I'm real that he's trying to get back. Just having a little say, <laughs> as all hookers do. 16 0 half time, Canterbury over Melbourne. Watch out for this 15 minute period after half time. It's where Grant can really torch sides through the middle. Heck, it's he been harassed. He has been awesome. I wonder who my super coach so I don't know that. Based on his first half numbers, Karaz. You're on the laptop at half time. You want to change. You want Warbrick out, Karaz in. Second half underway, 16 0. True story. Canterbury with the ball. Three tries scored in the first half and a disallowed one right on half time to Big Billy Army. I think they'd be very keen to get to 22. 16 6 and suddenly you get nervous. Are we really, are we really taking it to the storm? Intriguing second half coming your way here on Fox League. Head of the Sunday ticket tomorrow, Tigers and Knights and Dragons v Titans. Preston with the ball, a try scorer from the first half. Again, a nice early shift, just moving the Melbourne Storm defensive line. James had plenty of work tonight. He's run for over 100 metres as well. But uh, well behind the metres made by Kuraz is now for Amanu Brown doing his job. Back up to halfway, first set of the second half and a Burton kick on the end of it. They had their kicking problems last week, didn't they, against Manly? So far, so good tonight. Meany with the ball for Melbourne. And uh, he's been driven back by Viliami Kikau and Waddell. Tough start to the set. Warbrick in there. Great double effort there from Viliami Kikau. Would have been disappointed last week. He's came out. Tonight made a real statement for his new club. Strong tackle here. Good collision. Billy Army kick out, really leading the way tonight. That's three tackles, and they had Melbourne pinned inside their 20. Now the fourth, Remus Smith rolls over the top of Burton. Wishart with the ball. And that's been a very strong defensive set by Canterbury. Big kick required here from Jerome Hughes. Melbourne halfback from the 30 metre line. And uh, bounces to the side of Perham. He's with it. And uh, Hayes Perham on play number one for Canterbury. Be fascinating just to see how long Craig Bellamy holds his nerve. Very emotional at half time. Very disappointed, obviously, with his sides opening 40 minutes. But without Christian Welch and Asma Solomona on the field, their forward pack getting dominated. As we saw in that opening set, just how long will he keep them off the field? Doesn't look like much fun, does it? Up in the Melbourne box <laughs> tonight. <laughs> You'd be afraid to say a word, I reckon, as Farmanu Brown to Burton, out to Addo Carr. Standing well in from the wing there. Then a Burton fend and run right across field. Burton chalk up another missed tackle for Melbourne going to the record books on the missed tackle count for the Storm. Flanagan's kick, a bomb from halfway. Warbrick come. Oh, Warbrick over his head. Just on the fingertips. Oh, my gosh. That was a nervous moment. I've said that. They've had a couple of drops. 
He could hear the footsteps of kick out just rumbling towards him, and he just, just reeled it in. Oh, gee. that a knock on? Yeah. He dragged that towards his own goal line. Strong defence there. Farmanu Brown under the ball. Yeah, Warbrick. King on the run for Melbourne. He's worked hard Jeez, for the storm. Yeah. yeah. The forward leader, 25 tackles as well. They kick from five metres inside their own half. Uh, Perham across to it. With plenty of dash. Canterbury back with the ball at 16 0. And then Serraldo. And uh, he'll be happier there. Penalty goes the way of Canterbury. He did actually coach, of course, for six games. The Panthers way back in 2018. And in those six games, he actually had a win over Melbourne. So uh, he's already got one next to his name. Yeah, just watch around at, at half time. He's communication. Well, here we go. Here we go. The big boys are up and about. Well, Shanas for Solomona. You cannot wait any longer. Four minutes into the second half, and they're up on their feet. So Canterbury with the ball. Marnie to Burton. Then for Pele, proving more than a handful. Franklin. Brett got a leg and only just. Now, Marnie. Waddell, oh, Farmanu Brown got it high up on the right shoulder. Still with possession. Marnie in front of the Melbourne Posts. To the right. Waddell, a fend, probably needed a playmaker there to get the ball. That's the fourth. Marnie, a little scrappy at the play the ball there. Out for Averino. Perez with it again. He's already going to try. Now he's got another. Jacob Perez. He'll be flying over in first class from Melbourne, I reckon, the way he's going. What a night this young bloke is having. Yeah, nothing doing down this right hand short side for the Bulldogs. Marnie jumps left, comes back to that right hand side. And, it, and, and it's a poor misread. And it all came on the back, this opportunity of a rampaging run from Franklin Pele. We saw Asper Solomona taking a few for a toe in the first half. Well, Pele. He's done the same. Marnie, out left, bounces back to the right. Where's Tonham Apuya going? Where was he going? He came flying in a complete misread and brilliant strength from Jacob Carraz, who is having a night out at Amy Park. Great skill there from Avarillo. Look at this. Twist, turn, gets the footy down. Well, kids watching would say, well, that's like when my PlayStation glitches. <laughs> the way Todd and Papias run. I mean, I'm not quite... You're right. Where was he going? It I'd was, say it's a glitch. It was man on man. There was absolutely no need for him to feel like he had to come out of the system and solve it himself. But pressure does funny things to people. Look at that. Two tries and 155 metres already. We're only 47 minutes into the game. Try double. 20 mil. Melbourne so tough and courageous last week. Well, the did allow try on at half time. We could already be talking about 26. Some bright looking faces of the Melbourne fans behind Matt Burton. I can't even muster the energy to say lolly left. <laughs> <laughs> They've got nothing. You've got to give it to him. You've got to stick in there. Burton for the kick. And a Burton left to right. Misses. Jake on the sideline. Jacob Carraz is such an awkward mover. He busted 59 tackles last season. You can see on display here how hard he is to get a hold of. This is his first try, first quick one in the corner, and then he busted a few tackles to score a second one, and that will please Dogs coach Cameron Ferraldo. He wanted his side to get back to the mentality that it's nil all. He wanted them to kick to corners, and he reminded them to keep an eye on Harry Grant. He is the guy that can spark a comeback for the Storm. We saw what he did last week against Parramatta, where Craig Bellamy, he was absolutely animated, as you can imagine, at halftime. Gave the Storm a spray, wanted them to fix their defence, show more energy. They had uh, 31 missed tackles in the first half and conceded seven line breaks to nil. So, very unstormy. Yeah. Pele takes the first run back from the kickoff. And that left edge is a worry, isn't it, for Melbourne? No Cameron Munster there tonight. No Xavier Coates, and they're under assault. Eight line breaks to nothing. Incredible. Round again for Canterbury. Punching the two 
drives in the defence too. Mm. He's got that footwork ground. Now Marty's got a kick for inside the 40. Got it. It's on its way. Oh, I don't think so. I think he got it. You reckon he got it? So does the touchy. Ziggy on the sideline. He's saying inside the 20. Oh, this is close. We had a close one the other night, didn't we, on Thursday night? Marty's kick. I thought it, oh, you, oh, I don't know. I mean, how can you say? How can you say? He's claimed yeah, it. He's claimed it. He's claimed it. Yeah, he, in hours of practice, Reed Marnie does on that. Just that very kick. So, 240-20s last year. Now he's got his first as a Bulldog. Here come Canterbury again. Burton for Perham. Villiarmi kick out. And they've really set up any big plays for Villiarmi just yet. That, that's still in the kit bag for Canterbury. Brown, Burton, Flanagan, Avarillo, Caraz the go-to. Back in field. Caraz. Oh, oh where's that pass come from? Marty there. We'll deal with it. Canterbury in the offloads. I know that didn't go straight to hand, but they are mixing it up here. Money for Brown, for Burton, Perham. He was falling. That's unfortunate for Hughes. He was on the way down. He's got a cramp. Hughes is penalised for a little tap. There, there has definitely been a shift in the dog's attack, and it's been great to see. I, I was really critical last week of Matt Burton staying on that left-hand side and just sitting waiting for opportunities. But tonight, both sides of the field combined with Kyle Flanagan, and at times when they've come from longer field positions, they've all played together, with Perham included. Now, Preston left uh, the arrow behind. Avarillo has a look up from Dubby Half. And, and will have a oh. himself. Avarillo's got over. Oh, great Bellamy. He'll go for a walk after this. He might walk to the Dandy Dogs. He might see him again until Monday. He's embarrassed the Melbourne defence there. He had one little peek and has helped himself to a try. Well, you don't see that often. You do not see the front door just getting kicked in. And that's what and that's what we've seen from the Bulldogs. Yeah, this was a big play. Reed Marnie on the back of points from Caraz. Early in the tackle count, just driving a 40-20. And then it's Avarillo. Just simply out of dummy half. Goes back on the inside of Asma Solomona that has just come back onto the field for his second stint, leaving Grant to clean up the mess at second marker. He holds on, Wishart, he just can't stop the strength of Avarillo that close to the line here. Yeah, those two there are having a field day. Boy, they're enjoying themselves. Jacob Caraz and Jakey Avarillo, the right side of the dogs are having a party. Jake Averillo, what, what an interesting uh, journey it's been in the first grade career. Is he a half? Is he a fullback? Yeah. Now he's finding himself playing right centre. And Burton, the scoreline goes to 26 nil. Oh boy. The eyes are burning. Mm. Holes through his. Well, you just don't, you don't see this from Melbourne. You, you don't see points like this conceded from the Melbourne Storm. That, that purple wall, that defensive resolve on their goal line, it is, it's not there tonight. It is simply not there tonight. It is, it is un-Melbourne-like. Fox Sports Lab is searching record books now. I mean, and we've got a long way to go, 29 and a half to go, but Melbourne have never been held to nil in Melbourne and have only been beaten by 30 twice in their history. In 2001 and, and 2010 by the Roosters. That ball's come loose. Oh, gee, yeah, yeah, that's come loose. So there's an error. Little hiccup there for the Franklin Pelé. He lost control and it contacted a Melbourne defender. You can't argue that call. It's a 26 nil. Look at Philly Army just barking, smiling, rallying the boys. Energy's high for the dogs. Just squeezes out there. Marina Smith and Katoa just baying for a decision to go their way. There he is. Boy, they've missed him tonight. Right stay down, shot clock off. Stay down, stay on. Ball in. Break. Oh, Melbourne, 20 away. Comeback has to start somewhere. Nice of a Solomona with the ball. The last, oh, he's got uh, Flanagan onto his head there. Grants. Richard. 
amazing stat through uh, 140 minutes or thereabouts. The only led for all of a couple of seconds, and that was the golden point last week against Parramatta. As for Solomona running at Preston, got an offload to Grants. Now Christian Wells with the ball. And while since Canterbury had to do any goal line defence, you'd like to think they had plenty of energy. Grant back to the left side, set and restart. And uh, going closely, Aero gets a look at the line. Called the plate, he did the ball plant, that was dangerous. Nelson will have a go himself. Nelson's over. So I wonder that doesn't happen even more. Well, Flanagan making the plate for the referee, but we've said it before, he's just so damn big. He can fall over from 10 metres out and reach the line. Yeah, it's like 8am, just watching your junior league game and just find the big fella close to the line, finds Perrin one-on-one. -on -one. Aparillo did his best, but you're right. Just the sheer size and brute force of Asper Solomona. It was his third run in the space of a minute. And just too hard to contain. Melbourne on the board. It's not over yet. Plenty of time on the clock. I hear the ripping of paper in the Fox Sports lab. <laughs> the zero, that one's done. The zero stat. That's gone. That one's done. Don't worry about it. And yes, Melbourne, this proud club, would be embarrassed at 26 0 in the manner of tries. And, and now the ball is in their court. Respond. There's, there's time, 27 minutes. The Canterbury and themselves will be disappointed with that. They, they've been excellent defending their goal line. He's still filthy. Look at Nelson shaking his head. He's not happy about any of it. Well, they're wearing the Heritage jersey tonight too from the uh, from the first year of the club. Nick Meany with a shot to bring the margin back to 20. 65 games for the Dogs in his time at Canterbury. make it a converted try so on the board they feel a little better about things a long way back but uh, it had to start somewhere yeah nice vision there plenty of numbers out to that left hand side but the pass selection of green he knew who to go to close to the line so hard to stop big nelson great body position got himself leaning forward no one could get underneath him and just too strong there for jake avarillo and, and hayes perrin what about the fight tomorrow? You can order now at mainevent.com.au. Biggest fight in Australia since Fennick v. Oh. Nelson. Uh, it is Tim Zhu against Tony Harrison. He's talking to talk. You look at his record, you look at his highlights, well, I think he can walk the walk. It could be really something tomorrow. You can order through main event, mainevent.com.au. So Melbourne in possession on Super Saturday. Kiraz gives up a penalty. Nelson's fired up. Well, you don't want to poke the bear, do you? They've made yeah. Nelson angry. No, he, he's wound up the big fella. He's furious. You can see there just out the back with the trainer. And now all of a sudden, Tom McPeer has got the footy there over halfway, Melbourne. And a chance to attack. Yeah, chance to test the medal of uh, Canterbury now. Mm. There's the runner try, as we saw, from uh, Canterbury. And a disallowed one in there as well. Grant on to Welch, and then for Hughes, on for Meany, kick out, cracking across field there. Great defence from kick out from the inside. Grant again, Welch on that run. That time Brown was the front man. Four tackles up, inside the 30. Hughes to Wishart, set restart on play four. So, bit of momentum here for Melbourne, well, for one of the rare times tonight. Now penalty conceded as well. Out. You need to clear it up, mate. Gee, Grant was about to get out then. That was the moment where he'd finally earned some ruck speed. 25 minutes to go. Here he is, look, scheming already, Harry. He knows where he wants to, uh, wants to attack. Nelson takes the first one. Offloads to Grant. Welsh spin doesn't pass. Does now. On the bounce. There's trouble. Grant... Looked up, saw the goal post padding. So the Solomon got a problem with his left knee. As it comes back for Hughes, having a run at them. Back to back tries has not added the question here for Melbourne. Harry Grant. Run hard, run straight. Garlic on the field. Right on the line. There's another run. The front rowers are looking to lead the charge for Melbourne. 
That's for Solomona is limping off. That's bad news for Melbourne. Wishart, cut out ball. And Anderson close to the sideline. Last tackle play. Storm need another set here. Desperate. Wishart to Hughes to kick all the way across. Looking for Remus Smith Great and Alamonte. Second first grade game comes up with a big play. Huge blow for Melbourne this. His second stint was powerful and he got them back into the game with a great powerful try. That's for Solomona going up the tunnel. More woes for the Melbourne Storm. Yeah, he, he knew something was wrong. He, he gave himself his own medical test. And uh, off he goes. Jake will follow that one up. Post-match big show tonight here on Fox League. No reason to go to bed. A lot to review out of today. More controversy. With the uh, dramas of the judiciary charges last night out of the Cowboys game as well. Ball sitting up here for Warbrick. He's, he's been outstanding for the Army. Kick out in all the effort areas. His work from marker, his pressure defensively from the inside, his decision making defensively has been inspiring for his side. 20 points is the margin at the moment. As Anderson has held up, that's three tackles and they're on their 20, Melbourne. Tottenham Pia, oh. cut out ball and Katoa's on the run. Great hands inside from Garlic. Only his second touch and he got one off his, uh, off his shoelaces there. Hughes on the run, here comes Katoa. Here comes the storm, standing in the tackle. Remus Smith with it. Canterbury get defenders back, a little chop on the head of Kikau. Off goes Grant, gives the pass away. Hughes is over for Melbourne. They were down on the canvas, but they weren't counted out. And now they've got it back to 26-10. Well, he's gone from sinner to sight, young Ton Mapia. Sinbind in the first half, and this time stuck inside their own half, scooming across the field, looking, looking, found Katoa just charging through. It was great hands on the inside from Garlic. He did very well, and again, Jerome Hughes at his best here. Harry Grant, they recognise where they're vulnerable. Straight on the front foot, momentum. Short ball, Katoa, charging, looking for an offload. Find Smith. Then he gives the old rabbit chop here to Viliami, gets rid of him. And shades of a, of a touch footy field, he just lunged low and dived for the line. The combination of Grant and Hughes. Well, buckle up, they've got Melbourne right <laughs> back in this. Buckle up. Indeed, 26-0, and embarrassed with the fifth try that was scored. Yes. They now bounce back, and no one's leaving the stadium. And uh, the Bulldogs have put the champagne bottles back at the Exky. <laughs> what about this? 26 to 12, Super Saturday, 21 to go. I, I love when these two get going. They're, they're Two mighty fine players, Grant and Hughes. Brilliant instinct. They just go after the game when, when it's there to be taken. They love the big moments. And Craig, well, little enjoyment. He's, he's finding a, a little bit of enjoyment. <laughs> I will say this. The entire play breaks down without the great hands of uh, Garlic. That was quite Definitely. a take. I mean, you know, if he had dropped it, you would have said, well, that was a terrible ball. But his hands kept that movement going. And he's only just come on the field. Good skills. So Melbourne. If there is life, there is hope. 14 points down. Are you going to ride off a Melbourne storm side? 14 down with 21 to go? No way. You just saw two as Welsh gets another offload. Now Hughes. And kick out starting to, to feel the heat a little bit. He's done a lot of work defensively. And we saw last week him have to leave the field for a little period of time. A shortened preseason after a big World Cup and final series. Grant now. Grant is running. That's a sign. Alarm bell ringing. He's paid 20. You can make it 25 metres from Harry Grant. Now it's Canterbury desperate to get the ball. All Melbourne. Almost through his wish art there. Last tackle. Back for Hughes, another bomb. Every catch is close to the sideline. 
And Melbourne, it's been knocked forward, was it, by Warbrick? Canterbury have got it in any case with Perham, and they will play the knock on by Melbourne. No advantage to Canterbury there. 26 12, 19 and a half to go. And, and Michael, you tell us, I mean, what what happens to the free flowing Canterbury attack suddenly that the scoreline closes? Do they do they get a little they, they go into their shells a bit? No, well, at the moment, as you can see there, it's been a massive chunk of possession for Melbourne. So there's some fatigue in this Canterbury side. It's right up to to Flanagan and Burton here just to get them through their sets. You'll see the outside backs carrying here. Here's Karaz. And they'll need a long kick from Burton just to get themselves steadied and back into the contest physically. He made the, uh, the two offloads in the second half. Suddenly Melbourne six, Canterbury two. And after the Bulldogs made nine in the first half, King almost back to the 40. Marnie. Not much adventure in this set. Addo Carr with the ball. This is just holding for five and kick. Yeah. Canterbury. But there's, there's still a long way to go here. Burton driving that one right to the... Oh, it takes a little spin past Meany. And it's going to go all this the, is big. the dead ball line. This oh, is big. Seven tackles now. Look at the Melbourne Storm players react. Get behind this 20-metre line. Let's go down to the sideline. Jake Duke. The Melbourne Storm haven't given up hope on Nelson Asafa Solomona in this game, guys. It is a knee injury. They're going to strap it up and test it out here on the sideline, but he is still questionable to return. It's a big strap. Big bandage. And on halfway, Melbourne with the ball. Thanks. Melbourne fans back into the contest as well. McDonald picked up and driven by Marnie. Gee, that was a good shot. Sense of technically. Oh, oh, kick out. Boy, boy. Yeah, the experience, the big signings over the summer, trying to make a difference here for Canterbury. Garlic is our first grade. That's been hit by a kick out, put down on the wing by Anderson. Ooh, there's some relief from Canterbury to see that happen. Melbourne on a bit of a roll, or more than that, they had just a bit of a roll. They were dominating. Well, that technique, nice and tall, drop late, got right underneath McDonald. Here comes kick out, just bang. He followed in Marnie after that previous shot too. Really big plays from their experienced men. And then just Liero just... And he's playing longer minutes now, Trent Liero. And that was a bit of a fatigue play there. Anderson unable to hang on to it. Canterbury now 30 metres out from their line. A chance to take a breath. Marnie away from Kiraz. Good point to make about Liero. I mean, he averaged 35 minutes a game in his career up to this point. Yeah, one off-season on with all those players going to the Dolphins. He's an 80-minute or expectation to play the 80. Last yeah. week he played 84. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is good signs for Melbourne. As for Solomona, back to the interchange bench. Saw in the background, Kane Bradley. He's thinking, what is it going on here? My, my first game for Melbourne. We were down 26-0. That, that wasn't meant to happen. Here it comes, Andrew. The offloads, here they come. Pair him away. Sutton back on for Canterbury. Melbourne regroup. Just over 16 to go. Perham for King. And into the Melbourne half. Marnie. And Burton. We've only seen the one super bomb tonight. This one end over end. And again, seven tackles set. Two in a row for right, Melbourne right. off the Burton kicks. They need to hold their nerve here, Melbourne. They, they tried to come up with a risky shift in the last set and forced an error. The dogs forced the error. They just need to get down the other end again. Look at this, the line speed and collision. Great carry and play the ball from Warbrick. Grant will get out here. In fact, it's Wishart. Keep it alive, Meany, Welch. The last two sets indicate, I don't know whether there's too many more points left in Canada. So Grant, you get it back to 26-18. With 10 or so to go. Game on. Melbourne mistake. Six to go. Second one. Six to go here. Knocked down by Canterbury. So they'll get another full set. The Melbourne Storm. Hold on. Things getting a little heated. Flanagan. Not sure we need that from young Tottenham-Apia. Yeah, so against Preston. On the inside play. Jake has got news on the sideline. 
Yeah, bad news for the Storm guys. Nelson Asafa Solomon. You see that knee strap there. They tried it out, but it's not going to work. He has been ruled out for the rest of this game. A big blow for the Melbourne Storm as they try to chase down this lead. Yeah, another, another of their superstars uh, watching from the sideline or the grandstand or the coach's box. So Melbourne still in with a chance. Smith has got the ball. Ooh, this kick out again from the inside. It's brutal. This could be quite amazing what we're witnessing unfold here. We said, you know, championship qualities of the club embarrassed the scoring of the fifth try. They are back and coming hard right here. Hughes and Wishart. Preston, good tackle on that right edge of the Canterbury defence. 14 and a half to go. Grant's coming into his own again. Hughes bounced away from kick out. And then siding tackle. Sutton, quick play the ball. Grant's kick, trap and scrap from kick out. Melbourne with the ball. And the tackle count will restart. Kick out had every right to challenge Welch there. Here is Garlic. Do they get a third here? Do they get a third try, Melbourne? From 26 still down. Grant with the ball. Marnie trapped the by Marnie. <laughs> the two hookers come together. Yeah, look at this. Oh, we just loves it. And then Hughes gets it high. Well, set restart ruck infringement against Reed Barney for all of that. You're probably saying, well, what about him, sir? Now Grant to the left. Garlic again. Just his second appearance in the NRL. Five from the line. Hughes out to Smith, takes them on, rolls a pass out the back. Warbrick is with it. He can bust a tackle. Will Warbrick caught by kick out? That's three. Now Grant up there for McDonald. Looks at the line and three defenders get him down. And right off a dummy half play from Grant here. On the bounce, Wishart. Running at Flanagan and Preston. Kept it alive for Garlic, then for Hughes, wants to throw it long, kicks through, turns them around, ball is batted back in field. Canterbury come up with a ball, they've ruled that it had gone dead. Yeah, it's a couple of times tonight, both Grant and Hughes just haven't been able to get that execution on that short kick, and it's just trickled dead. Gee, that was great work, wasn't it? Yeah, Keeping got... the ball in. Well, he got to it airborne, but... It landed outside the dead ball line on the way back. It was a great attempt. Canterbury with the ball, 12 and a half to go. You be the judge at home. Is this a side that's got any more points in them? I, I feel like for Melbourne, the, the shape's got to come around Harry Grant. I feel like that's that's the threat tonight. Anytime they've moved the ball two passes wide, Canterbury have handled it well. Flanagan now jumping into dummy half. It's got to be Harry Grant. Tyler Mariner back to halfway. So now Marty Sutton. And he's lost the ball. Oh, there's a call. You'd have to go captain's challenge if he could. Marty's having a few words, no surprise. Ball, ball comes loose. Is there any actual stripping motion no, in the tackle? That's challenge. why there's a challenge. Melbourne is disputing the on-field decision of a strip. Just keep a little eye on Harry Green here. He might have tried to pull Swifty. A little sneak. Should get their hands with Harry Grant here. There's more than two players in the tackle. Harry Grant's right hand is on the ball. Just rolls it over. Just seeing if there's any intent to do with the ball here. A little sneaky movement here. Progress around the ball and strips the ball out. The challenge is unsuccessful. Yeah. Ooh, good poker for Michael Ennis. Yeah, I might get the resume ready. <laughs> unsuccessful, guys. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. I was thinking that, but I said it out aloud. Oh. <laughs> no, it's... We'd love your company. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's been a good company. But we can't hold you back. We can't hold you back to the greener pastures. Canterbury with it now. Oh, from the free kick. The try scoring stopped at five. That try came up in the 50th minute to Avarilla. 
So 26 plays, 12. And I'm sure every Bulldogs fan is saying we just need one more. We're a little nervous. Kick hours with it. Can they can they get a play for Villiani? He's had the ball stripped. What do you want to do? The difference. I don't think they're kicking for 16. Whether I've seen an actual play set up for kick out to have a red hot go no. at the Melbourne defence tonight. Tyler Mariner, all oh, Grant's been hurt. Aaron Grant went down, he's back up. Takes his position in the line. And then King, he's only two metres from the line. Canterbury. Boost up a, a thrashing in the first round. On the cusp here. Marty to play it. King for Flanagan. Under pressure. Great defence, Canterbury, uh, from Melbourne. Liero that time. Up on the Canterbury halfback. Stand up. He's in both as bad as he plays. Both at fault there, says the referee. For Tyler Mariner. For Burton. For Sutton. Again, it's not quite... Well, that's where you want kick out. Exactly. That's, that's where you want kick out. Just off Burton's hip. Out the back. Uh, and then Marty's had the ball knocked down. Kick out's knocked it on. Knock on. He's had a couple of these tonight. Reed Marty and trying to jump out on the last to kick down. On that side of the field, it's a difficult kick for a dummy half. You're kicking on your right foot. You've got Marcus coming at your right we leg. Have a captain's challenge. Bulldogs are disputing the on field decision of a knock on. Well, I think he, he, it, it hits his thigh, the kick. So I don't think the first one is a knock At the point of the play, the ball, Jerome Hughes is not square at marker, and he impacts play. That's a ball carrier. The ball has had lost four by Reid Marnie. It'll be a penalty to Canterbury. The challenge is successful. So the video rules are not square at marker. Okay, Jerome's not square at marker. Challenge is successful. Which is not what they were. Well, no, was not what they were challenging. They said no knock on, which it was a clear knock on. We're going to play here, and I'll get back to you next. Hey, hey, Tom God, hey, I will get back to you. You're not the captain, Christian. Wait. Stop her regret. Not the captain. No, you no, with the Christian Welch is the captain. Canberra. Oh, now Sutton's lost, lost, lost the ball. Wow, a bubble. Ball lost. That's a beautiful goal. Beautiful shot underneath the footy here on Ryan Sutton. Just watch this. Yeah, just drops late. It's garlic. This time on a Saturday night, the ball starts to get dewy and slippery. Plenty of sweat on the ball. That's that's the area. That's the target. Go, really guys. good technique there from garlic. 14 points is the difference with nine and a half to go. Can you score down? from Melbourne to make Canterbury oh, really nervous. I mean, winning is not a habit at Canterbury. Hasn't been for a few years. Make them nervous. Uh, Kane Bradley is finally out there. This is his third appearance in the NRL, but his first for Melbourne. Played a couple of the Cowboys. He's part of a swap deal with the Tigers a few seasons ago. He finds himself with a storm. So they're inside their half. They are still in the contest. Oh, Wells, Hughes, great play. Katoa's away, Meany in support, Meany loses it. Was he tackled by the Fox early? Marty goes back for it. Melbourne complaining that there was interference on Meany before he gets it. Gee, that was good skill for him. Well, here we go. Hey! Great skill it was from Christian Welsh and Jerome Hughes. Catch and pass under pressure. Separate! Katoa's Separate. burst through a couple Thumbs of times. Off. And they just haven't Ash, been able to finish it off, have they? They Separate. just haven't had the support in the right position. Right Ado Carr was flying. Go back. No, it's, it's all fine. Here. It's all fine. So, Canterbury right back for it. There's no challenges anyway left for Melbourne. It's got to be gone. I've, re I've, read, I've ruled that at the line. The last five minutes, all I've had is guys come to me and he's coming into each other. Yep. It stops now. Well, people are going to start to sit down and you're going to get penalised, right? Clean it up and play football. Scrum's here, knock on Melbourne. They're all getting up in the face. Scrum Harry here. Grant and Ryan Sutton. Hello. Time is off. Oh, uh, yeah, Tom McBear. Harry, do a sneaky one over the top there. Am I talking to you? Hey? 
Yeah, he's not going to go unnoticed, is he, with that mo? He got me, you Not hard to spot. Righto, let's go, guys. Heads down, boys. Heads down. I win it, you Stay do. on. There you go, Christian Welsh just challenging his teammates. Eight and a half minutes, still plenty of time, Bossy. Break. Some Canterbury with it. And a Motti. 26 to 12. Eight and a half to go. There is a lot coming on. There's a lot in the face. A lot of challenges to the referee at the moment. He's right. Sutton suddenly becomes public enemy number one for Melbourne. They're hunting him. For Tyler Mariner this time. This is getting a little loose here. Marnie on the ball. He kept it alive. Flanagan had to rush in and support. There's a few players on tilt out there at the moment. He said buckle up before. A few of the players might have to uh, buckle up here. Canterbury 35 metres away from the line. Marnie, Flanagan, again, out of the line they come. The arrow made the tackle. Marnie tried to get to it, was playing for a penalty, kicks off balance and gets it over the sideline. Seven and a half to go, 26th place, 12. Canterbury. Last week, so we've had a few bounce back, haven't we? Now, from, uh, being losers round one, among them the Premier's Penrith. We'll carry that. Aubrey in off the wing. Finding his feet in first grade. That's his 13th run for the night. Just about the most metres of any Melbourne player. So that's encouraging. Tottenham appear to the 40. Grants, Garlic. Away from kick out, Grant kept it alive. Hughes, Hughes does the same for Toa to Smith. That was beautiful skill, great catch and pass. Going away just yet, Melbourne. Oh, Hughes almost caught by the Fox. Wishart to Meany, back in field. Ado cars in no man's land. Meany with the ball, back to your wing, Josh. Meany, there was no call of hell, he kept it alive. Garlic down with the ball for Melbourne. In over the top by Fatala Mariner, last tackle, the Storm. He was there to pull off a miracle, they need something here. Hughes' kick, protection, oh. ball! Oh, oh, I had it! Well Katoa just had to hold it and he falls over and scores. He channeled Jeremiah Nene there, he looked like him coming through. Absolutely he did, and then a car just overread the play got caught in field look at this he, he just comes in trying to run an escort there for for Hayes Perham and the ball sat perfectly for Katoa chance gone begging for Melbourne a big chance oh that's 26 18 with, with five and a half to go right there it's a Canterbury in possession uh, Flanagan there's some work to be done You've just thought it for the last 10 15 they, they're not going to score again their, their whole attitude's changed mind you melbourne's has changed as well that's made it tougher great kick burton's Fantastic kick, kick. many is with it many back for warbrick he's on the run again play one is done 20 meters out from their own line super saturday big post match show coming up sunday ticket tomorrow tigers and knights Dragons and Titans, no foot on the ball there. Play the ball allowed to continue. Bradley on the run. Short of halfway, the storm into the last five we go. King with it this time. Caught by Marnie. He's had 32 tackles tonight. Katoa has had some moments this second half. Back for Hughes, kept it alive. King in reverse. Fifth tackle done for Melbourne. 25 metres from the line. Grants, Welch, it's there for Hughes to kick to a corner. This time, Adokai has to play it. And gee, they needed a challenge on the ball then. Wade Bronson! It had to be more than let him catch and then make the tackle. So Canterbury hang on through another set. He's worked hard tonight, young Alamotti. Over 140 metres carrying the ball now. He's very physical and hard to handle. Craig, hands behind him, Kiraz in off the wing, 
He's hated every moment tonight, hasn't he, Craig? He looks like he hasn't enjoyed one moment. 23 runs for Kent Kiraz, by the way. He's topped the 200 metres now. He's had nine tackle busts, three offloads, two line breaks, a couple of tries. That's a nice trip to Melbourne. They are rare. Nights like those in Melbourne are rare. Oh, football. Beautiful. Three. Hold on. That's a little trip. Is that what they're saying? Time's off. Okay, Commentator once told me and said there's no such Willie. thing as an accidental trip. That's an unnatural move with the leg in the air. Oh, the Billy Armin's gone to the Sydney. For the trip, Bunk had a quick look at it. Billy Army kick out has gone to the bin. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's beaten him totally and, and the legs come up. He's been watching Josh Reynolds over the summer. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> he's been working some one on one stuff with Josh. So they will finish the game with 12, with three and a half to go. It's hurt his leg and he's off for 10. He's off for the rest of the match. It won't be 10. Melbourne need to score this set, basically. Well, the score this set and, and just have a red-hot go. A performance like that from Billy Army, he, he probably deserves an early shower. He, he's been outstanding tonight. 26 plays 12. Hughes, they attack kick out side. Alamotti comes up with another good tackle. His stocks have grown tonight. Grant out of dummy half. That's the fourth play. He looks weary, doesn't he? Harry Grant, 40 tackles, his seventh run of the night there. Meany to Hughes, they kick before the last. Hayes Perham got a good bounce, and Perham comes back with it. Oh, he's passed. Melbourne have got a chance again. Knock on Canterbury, fellas, you lead by 14. Someone tell them. Yeah, some learnings there for Perham. He did extremely well to swoop on the, the, early, the early kick, and... Yeah, great work over the top there. The pass unnecessary, really. Ash. Quick report from Jake on the sideline. Just how good is it to have the footy back, guys, in 2023? Looks like there's a captain's challenge here, no? Uh, good to have the footy back this year, guys, because uh, you get your tickets. Be here for games like this from nrl.com forward slash tickets. Jake Everillo makes contact with the ball. The tackle by Melbourne is legal, and he knocks the ball forward. Oh, that's just, that's just, the challenge is unsuccessful. Up our sleeve. Yeah, yeah. Righto guys, unsuccessful, let's go. Time will stay off, let's go. We told you you Two minutes, no 15 more challenges on the clock. for anyone. Canterbury down a man. You'd like to think you're home. Sounds like the referee Come said on. no Come more on. challenges Come with on. great relief <laughs> under his breath. Heads down. You can just stay quiet the rest of the night. You're giving me an Come absolute ear bashing, you blokes. Drive him, drive him in the middle. <laughs> so Melbourne, 20 Come away. On, Hughes, wide angles, feeds the ball, Wishart, Meany. Oh. Court 20 metres away from the line. Alamotti yet another tackle. Warbrick will take a run at them. He's defended very well. Decision making tonight from young Alamotti has been well beyond his years. Grant Welch King in front of the posts on tackle number three. Just get through this set, Canterbury, and enjoy a victory. Grant Hughes has a try. The tunnel has gone over. They slice through for 26-16. It's 16-0 since the 50th minute. They've come to an abrupt halt, Canterbury. And they just pierce a hole in the defence there. Yeah, there's been some great combinations at the Melbourne Storm over the last decade or so, particularly down that right-hand side. It was, it was Cronk and Proctor for a long time, then it was Cronk and... Toru Harris, and we've seen tonight just how quickly Eli Katoa from the Warriors is slowing. On a second, Ash, starting to build that combination with Hughes. Instruction from Christian. And we're going to look at the show from Walsh. Jeez. So yeah, Christian Welsh and contact on Reed Marnie. the ball. He runs on the outside shoulder. Reed Marnie's looking to slide, and is then denied the opportunity oh, to be involved to in the play. Uh, yeah, you have a decision. Yeah. You, get a job a, yeah. you get a job as an auctioneer next Saturday. Uh, you can sell anything. That, that is one of the great acting performances. Best supporting actor 
in a bunker decision. Reed Marty, congratulations, here's your trophy. That's that's I, I you know so. what? In, in fairness, yeah. there was enough space yeah, yeah, back on right. the inside no, shoulder true. to take from Christian Wells. We're having fun at the reaction yeah. to Marty going down like he's been shot. Um, but there you go. Melbourne denied the try. The margin remains 14. Will Canterbury just get through this set? I, I still like the look of what I've seen there from Katara and Hughes. I think that's going to be a real developing combination that's going to be hard to handle this year. Big and athletic, great leg speed, and Hughes dives so deep into the line to create space on the outside. It must be incredibly hard for you, Mike, as a former walker, to comment on that, because that's the sort of stuff you'd get away with. <laughs> Brilliant from Marnie. <laughs> Brilliant from Marnie. <laughs> <laughs> on halfway, there oh, he is. I just, I just tipped the, the lid of my beret that I'm wearing. It was great work from Reed Marnie. <laughs> Canterbury, Marnie. And uh, Ockenball comes on for some late minutes. We didn't question where would he come on. Well, he, he got a run in the final minute. Jaden Ockenball. Now, Marnie's just going to kick it over the sideline on the last. And Melbourne will have the last chance for points in the match. But they can't win from here. Canterbury are going to have their first win under Cameron Serraldo. And have done it on, uh, on Melbourne soil. Here is Hughes with it. Still trying a little bugger. Dizzy had a good night. Jerome Hughes has tried, tried so hard. Well, it's with it. The Storm captain trying to get an offload. He's got the offload away to Ockenball. Canterbury playing the last seconds. Of course, we're told men with kick out, kick out off. But there it is. The Cameron Serraldo era has started with an exhale. Yes, you've won. 26 still with 30 to go. I think they're all planning their night out. They were forced to work at the end, but all the hard work in the off-season has finally been rewarded with some competition points. Canterbury lower the colours of the mighty Melbourne Storm. Five tries to two. Craig has had one of those nights. Big post-match show coming up, but full-time at Amy Park. Canterbury, 26. Melbourne 12.